Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jordan's Tractor Vlog Videos. Uh, I want to give you guys another quick video of the uh, articulator here. Um, sorry I haven't posted anything of the progress of me painting it, but it was a fun one. It was a challenge. There are lots of things putting this thing together was not so fun. Uh, this thing is probably over a thousand pounds. Uh, trying to get things together in this thing was a nightmare. But, it's twisting, it's rolling, it's halfway together. So, to start with, these tires here, this is about uh, $1,200 in tires. These are 9516 Firestones. These are pretty uh, hard to find tire right now. Uh, this tractor was going to get duels on it, but I can't. Um, what we did down here is we went to the local Fastenal and we got different bolts that come all the way through with washers so I could space it out so the fenders wouldn't rub because he's such a big tire. Um, down here, come on over here for a minute. This is the wheel horse turning cylinder that I had a uh, uh, wheel horse parts and more. He went uh, go ahead and uh, rebuilt the cylinder for me. Um, these are the twist joints we did. Um, I put this plate here so this can't twist. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. This is the pit, uh, turn left to right right here. Uh, these are tractor supply bushings and pins and it's pretty uh, bolted to the chassis by these two brackets that are right here. This bracket, this bracket, and that bracket. So this bolt and this bolt hold this to the frame and this keeps it from turning. And if we come over here, when I painted it, I realized I didn't put any grease circs down here. So we went and put a grease circ down here and right here so it's greasable now. And this is the box that holds the whole tractor together. And then if you come back here on the back side, you will see the bushing. And this does so this can turn and twist. So it goes twist. It goes left. And to the right. So she is a full working articulating unit. Um, right now, pretty much what's left is I have to repaint some fenders. Rear fenders, front fenders and repaint the hood today. Um, the engine we have it halfway assembled. Um, I, I did do a test fire of it, it does fire up now. I have not heard this engine run. So I wanted to show you guys that it runs also. So we're gonna give her a little shot quick and see if she fires up so you guys can see it on video. There is no carburetor on it, so it will just go wide open, but it'd be a good fire so you can hear her run. hot out today so this car cleaner is going pretty fast. Well you kind of can hear her popping off. She doesn't have a carburetor on right now but she will run. Those are homemade stacks from a guy out in New York that made those for me. I also did the header wrap on the uh, manifold here. I made this manifold for it. And we put some Amazon header wrap on it also. So. so there you guys go, there's the articulator. That's kind of what's going on with it. We're almost done with it. I'm gonna try to get it to the show this weekend. I'm hoping to, I'm pushing. It won't be done all the way, but it will be there as a roller and hopefully back together, so. You guys go ahead and check out all the other videos. Uh, there's two parts of this video. So go ahead and check it all out. Uh, drive is hooked up. Let's show, actually, let's show you guys this drive set up here. Come on in here and we'll show you the drive. So this right here, I made all this linkage set up. And that's the travel control valve from the case. So basically when I push this forward, that's drive. That's neutral. That's reverse. And I was actually, come on over here, I was actually able to get factory motion on this. So when I say what I mean motion, I mean this goes all the way forward, like it did in the factory. Neutral, reverse. 
so I got exactly set up how it was and this is the turning so in this setup down here there's a lock in these travel control valves and it would be this one here this is your second these are your ports for your steering and these go to your big transmissions so these ports here want one is an out when one is an in okay so what I mean by a stop is if I turn this to this way it doesn't stop Go back in here inside here there's a lock position what I mean by that that's neutral that's to the right okay and if I were not to have this stop all the way down here this would go back in more and there's a lock and it won't be able to turn then so that would go in a lock position and you'd be stuck turned to the right or to the left and you would be not turning anymore because it goes in the lock position so when you build one of these you have to make sure you put a stop in the steering here because otherwise to the right neutral to the left and if it keeps going that way, it's going to go into the lock position on this travel control valve, and you're not going to be able to turn. And I found that out from a friend, and I'm so thankful that he told me, because otherwise I would not, I've been lost. So. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Every, every bolt was stainless steel. Uh, the three points on, i got to finish uh, trying to figure that out. There you guys go. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next tractor vlog video.